welcome to my channel. Um, today's video is going to be about my skincare routine. I have been wanting to talk about this for a long time, whether it be on my blog or my website or making a video about it because I finally have what I feel is like my best skin, which if your skin is the best it can be, I know that that is going to make you feel confident. When you are broken out, like that is just never a good thing um, for me. I just it always happens around the time of the month, but even now with this skincare routine, I feel like I get like one breakout during my period, which is incredible. So um, let's get into it. Um, my favorite thing that I want to talk about is the line The Ordinary. Um, and I get it from Beautylish, which is an amazing beauty company online. Um, this is not sponsored by them in any way. I clearly have like no followers or subscribers, bleh. Um, but I'm just getting started with this, so um, I'm genuinely talking about it because I love it. So um, my morning routine and my nighttime routine differ a little bit, um, so we'll get started with the morning one. So in the morning when I wake up, um, I come in and I wash my face with this oil-free um, acne wash. It's pink grapefruit. It has salicylic acid. Um, just because my skin is like prone to break out. So um, this is the up and up from Target. I love um, finding, I'm such a hunter, but I love finding like things that are similar in what they're made of. So this says like compared to Neutrogena Pink Grapefruit Foaming Scrub. Um, and when you compare the active ingredients, like that is the key factor there. So um, I wash my face with this in the morning. Um, so the scrub is really good, it helps clear up any blemishes and the exfoliants just keep your skin um, nice and smooth and rejuvenating because the scalp, the, excuse me, the cell turnover in your skin is really important for clear skin. So I start with that in the morning and then I rinse that off and then um, I follow it with the Ordinary, which I'm obsessed with. Um, the first thing that I do, um, this is morning and night though. Um, so I use the Ordinary Caffeine Solution 5%. Um, this is an eye serum, so you massage a small amount onto the eye, contour AM and PM. I don't know if it's focusing on that. I'll do some up close shots of this stuff as well. Um, reduces the appearance of the eye contour, pigmentation, and of puffiness. So morning and night I use this. It's just a tiny drop that you want to do and you want to put it on your ring fingers because your ring fingers apply the least amount of pressure. Um, so you just want to do a little drop there and then go under the eye like this and gently um, massage it into under your eye. And sometimes I even just do it up here because prevent all the wrinkles. <laughs> um, so then the next thing is um, after that, it's followed by Buffet. Um, it's multi-technology peptide serum, which I'm obsessed with and they are sold out of this a lot because it is so amazing and so many people use it. Um, I forgot to mention the best part about The Ordinary is this stuff will not break the bank. I am always trying to save money um, while still being put together and taking care of myself in the best way. So I'm always on the hunt for things like that. So my best friend Jenny actually, um, she's like my beauty guru. Um, so a lot of my tips and tricks and ideas come straight from her. Um, she's a certified MAC artist and she's extremely talented and she's always reading about the latest beauty trends and everything like that. So I get my knowledge straight from her and then I just try it out and if it works then I love to share it. So, um, I think this is like $8, like it's all, they, it's just very minimalistic packaging, so they don't spend a ton of money on that, um, but it's just, it's, it's like amazing stuff. Um, it's all like, I'll like provide the link below um, to Beautylish, so you guys can read about The Ordinary, but yeah, it's amazing stuff at a good price, not tested on animals, and all that stuff that we love to see with our products. So this, and again, a small drop onto the palms. I gently rub and then rub it all around my face um, and let that soak in. And then daytime is followed by, I use, where is it? I have so many things. It's amazing. But um, then it's followed by, oh yes, 
my 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil. Um, it's daily support formula for all types of skin. So I just feel like this um, is a water-based, um, actually, what does it say? Apply once a day to the face, ideally at bedtime after application of water-based treatments. Oh yeah, so the water-based treatment would be like the buffet. But the rosehip seed oil, I actually use this in the morning even though it says ideally at nighttime because my skin is super dry. So I use the rosehip seed oil in the morning. And then the last step, um, always follow your serums and stuff with a moisturizer. Um, and definitely because it's during the day, you want to use an SPF. So again, from Target up and up compared to CeraVe, which is like dermatologist recommended. I just dropped it. Um, it's dermatologist recommended, so it's moisturizing morning facial lotion with sunscreen. So this is SPF 30, which is super important. So whether it's your makeup, your primer, your moisturizer in the morning, something needs to have SPF in it for your face. That is like a deal breaker. Definitely have SPF in your face. So yeah, so that's my morning routine and then I air dry it before going to do my primer and my makeup application. So that's my morning routine and then there's just a few things that differ um, for nighttime. Um, let's see. So nighttime, I do use a glycolic toner. Um, so I don't use the salicylic acid because that would be too harsh for my skin. So nighttime, I do use the Cetaphil um, Daily Facial Cleanser. Removes excess oil without drying and clinically proven um, to deep clean the skin. However, this is not going to remove your makeup, so you do need to use... A makeup remover like if you think that this is going to get off your makeup and have your skin clean it's not going to and you will not have clean skin unless you remove your makeup so remove your makeup first then cleanse your skin and then following that step um, I take um, the another amazing ordinary product it's glycolic acid 7% toning solution so this is it right here and I just put it on like these little cotton pads which are so awesome and then I just gently wipe all around my face, um, avoid the eye area, but I go all around the face and even down the neck and behind the ears, like I just completely get it off. You'd be amazed even if I don't wear makeup that day, but I just go out into the world and then I use this at night, how much dirt and grime is coming off my face. It's disgusting. But so yeah, so I love that. And then again, followed by the um, caffeine eye treatment serum so I use that morning and night and then I switch it up with I do do the buffet again at night so those two remain the same and then I switch it up and do organic cold pressed Moroccan argan oil um, just because I do have really dry skin so again everyone's skin skin type is different so you might have to just try it's like trial and error with a few things but um, again, it's so reasonably priced that you can try it and see what works for your skin type. Um, also, this argan oil I can put in my hair because my hair is super dry as well. So, all these oils are amazing for your skin and nourishing your skin and your hair. Um, so, yeah. So, those are my nighttime steps. And then, lastly, at night, um, because I'm in the house and not going out in the sun, I use a regular moisturizer. Um, this is The Ordinary, and it's nat Natural Moisturizing Factors um, Surface Hydration Formula. So, I love it. And again, this stuff sells out. This and the Buffet Serum seem to be like super popular for them, and I just order it when I can on Beautylish, or I think Sephora just started to carry it, um, but maybe not online, only in select stores, so check that out too. Um, so yeah, that is my skincare routine. I definitely feel like, obviously I have makeup on right now, but I just feel like my skin has never been this clear. And even like on my period, I'm completely amazed at how uh, clean my, clear my skin is. And I just feel like when you have clear skin, you can wear less makeup and you can just you'll just feel more confident because you're not like feeling like you have to hide anything so and that is why i do these videos in general is again to help people boost their confidence so um skin is like first step base level one with feeling confident feeling beautiful on the outside so that we can feel beautiful on the inside so 
I hope you guys like this video. If you guys are enjoying my channel so far, it's still a work in progress, obviously, and it probably always will be, but if you want to join me, join me on this journey as I go along, please subscribe below and click on the little bell so you get notified when I post a new video. Thanks. Have a great day.